This is Expresso. Now, we're talking summer this whole morning, and we are looking at some trends when it comes to your home. Well, a beautiful home starts right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show from On Trend. We've got Angelique and Leah joining us on the show this morning. Ladies, a warm welcome to you. Thanks a lot. I see some beautiful things that are laid out, and specifically on the floor. You know, normally one wants to decorate the walls or there's plants, so there's some form of decor. But, Angelique, if you would look at flooring, what trends are we looking for this summer? Ilana, I think there's such a wide variety of things to look for when you're looking at flooring. But I think what's trending at the moment is your more natural product. I think things like your solid engineered floors, your marble. Um, we've even brought in something like vinyl that looks like wood, but actually is more cost effective. So I think those are the trends that we're looking at is more natural look, with your natural colors as well. I, I can't help but look at the floor and seeing a difference in vinyl. And then I see tiles mm -hmm. and I see that you've actually combined the two. Tell me more about that because I've seen features on walls, but never on floors. Okay, well, what you see on the floor here can be used on floors and actually on walls as okay. well. So we've created a bit of a flooring mood board here, much like designers do yes. for clients. And we've added some soft, soft carpets mm -hmm. and then some, of course, your hard wearing things with your tiles and your vinyls. But combining the two actually creates a bit of depth and dimension. And I think the trend is to move, to more, to more, um, move more towards featuring something in specific. So, for example, over here, you'll see that the tiles are featured mm. and the background is very minimalistic, very chic, very smooth. Well, I can I tell you now that it's very, very beautiful. And I love the carpet trains as well because, you know, mm. most of us want to move away from it. But I'm a traditionalist. Yeah. I love my carpets. Leah, in terms of colouring, I mean, what type of colours are in for the summer? Well, you've got your neutrals always, as you can see on these two over here. But then you've also got your pops of colour, which is the end one over there, which is quite nice as a feature to go more towards the people that like the eccentric styles. They like having a bit of colour, but not too much. So they want to just put a little bit of blues to go in with their neutral flooring, which is why we've put the lighter boards around and the lighter carpets. The carpets also add warmth and like homeliness to, to your home. Mm -hmm. So that's why we wanted to try and incorporate the carpets into our looks. Greys are also very big at the moment, very, very big. So we've sort of used the greys more in this area over here. I think also with the whiteboard, it adds, it adds texture and the colour just pops beautifully. I think as Leah was saying, sorry to interrupt, I think for colours for, for, for summer now, definitely your cool blues, yeah. your teals, that kind of thing. Okay. If, and splashes of it, not necessarily the entire floor, but just splashes yeah. of it. It makes me almost feel like summer can also be incorporated in winter because it's not like you're going to change your floor seasonally, right? Yes, like if you put exactly. them in, you change them, like, I don't know, in five years' time <laughs> or so. No, exactly. So the trends have to be on point, I would imagine. Would you use this in a small area? Because, I mean, you, 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 you texture... Um, uh, said it quite beautifully. This is a mood board. That's right. Yeah. How big in your home, like what kind of area would you use uh, your example of a mood board in? I mean, how big do you use the carpet space and how big do you use yeah. the texture tiles and vinyl? I think I can take this one. Yeah. Carpeting, we like, is very popular just in the bedrooms mm -hmm. for now because that's where you want to feel safe right. and warm. So throughout the house, you can use your vinyl. For instance, the feature tiles you can use at your entrance. Or you can use it if you've got a long passageway, you can use it every so often down the passageway, which is quite nice. Also, some of them, because of the texture, they can also be used as a non-slip. So if you've got your swimming pool leading into your veranda, you can right. also use it nice. as a nice long strip yeah. through the door. What about geometric patterns? I mean, do we still have retro geometric, the ones that fold into each other? Do we, do we still do all of that? We do. <laughs> <laughs> those will be those over there. Right. You can see they're almost in a triangle. Those are the herringbone. Right. I think with the herringbone, it's more trendy now than it was in the past, mm. purely because budget's always a problem. Mm. And in the past, designers would use the chevron pattern. And with the chevron pattern, you'd have a lot of tile wastage because you need to cut in order to make yeah. it fit. Yeah. Okay. So with the herringbone, um, the tiles it's actually cost effective. yeah, it bats up against other. There's less wastage, and of course, it's less money spent by yeah. the client, I think, as well. And also, sorry to interrupt, the the shape and feature of that also adds a lot of depth and dimension to a room, right. which is quite nice. It opens the room up almost like you would with a mirror. So because it has all the geometric shapes, it actually makes the space look a lot bigger. And I would imagine that it looks really good on a wall because, Definitely. I mean, you don't just... I mean, we're looking at examples of flooring at the moment yes. and seeing how... But how would you use that on a wall? Do you, do you texturise the whole wall? 
you would. And what you could also do is change the colour. Mm. So instead of using a tile in the same colour, you could maybe use, as is on the picture over here, we've used mirror mm -hmm. and we've used custom coloured glass. That looks really good. So this is actually a picture <laughs> of our on-trend box. Okay. Yeah, where a designers come in, design something using the, the, the variety of uh, product and kind of incorporating it into one kind of conversation starter, it looks like. Yeah. It looks beautiful yeah. and expensive. Not, no. always. Not, always. Not okay. always. Well, you know what? Summer is bringing a whole lot of exciting, exciting things. Thank you so much, Angelique and Leo from OnTrain that's joining us this morning, giving us an idea of what to do in our homes for this summer. Well, there's a whole lot more happening on our Feel Good Breakfast Show. Guys, thanks for joining us. We'll be back after the break.